Next, I'm going to call uh, Ms. Um, Doroba, who is going to speak on behalf of the AFDB, the African Development um, Bank, to give uh, a keynote remark. Uh, Ms. Dodrina, sorry, Ms. Andrina Doroba is the Division Manager for Education, Human Capital and Employment at the African Development Bank Group. Um, she's an educationist. Um, a mathematician, a gender expert, a development practitioner, and of course, a policy advocate. Prior to joining the AFDB, Ms. Doroba was the executive director for the Forum for African Women Educationists. While at um, that forum, she was responsible for the day-to-day -day management of the organization, specifically ensuring that the forum, uh, the forum's regional secretariat the fiscal operations, the fundraising, the advocacy, human resource and uh, programmatic strategies were effectively implemented across the network. Thank you, for, uh, Ms. Doroba, for joining us. You have the floor, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, maybe just to request that because I'm having challenges with my network where I am, uh, I'm going to switch off my video as I speak to you. So I hope that is acceptable. I uh, thank you distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say good day to all of you. Um, I want to start by thanking the organizers for inviting the Africa Development Bank to join this public presentation and the launch of the Africa Space Leadership Institute. Congratulations for this great master. We just heard this afternoon that today marks the 65th uh, anniversary of the dawn of the space age. And we believe that the launch of the African space leadership today does signify a new vest in Africa's socioeconomic development through the utilization of space science, technology, and application. The Africa Development Bank is indeed happy to be part of this and to witness this historical moment. The Africa Development Bank objective uh, really spurs around sustainable economic development of, of, of Africa. And it does this uh, through uh, five priority areas, which are Feed Africa, Light Up Africa, Industrialize Africa, Integrate Africa, and improve the quality of life of the people of Africa. You will agree with me that the space infrastructure capabilities are very important uh, a use, or useful to for saving these priorities. We do know that more than 70% of Africans, Africans depend on livelihood, depend their livelihood on agriculture. Its full potential can be unlocked using space sector uh, space technology, uh, particularly uh, in the area of precision agriculture. Farmers indeed can use the weather information uh, from meteorological satellites to understand the season, the soil conditions, as well as the changing climate patterns. Space is far more important to Africa than it may seem to, to be at a glance. Strategic and practical use of the space in satellite communication geographical mapping of our natural resources, urban development, to mention a, a few, and above all, the right skills mix are critical for the basic survival and prosperity of our continent. Satellite also does provide early warning for certain disaster in the natural and human environment. This then will save a lot of human life and, and property, and Africa must endeavor to harness the space, to reduce our vulnerability, the risk and losses. Satellite also enable telecommunication access to the internet, as well as information and communication technology. And so it's not just about going to the moon or sending other objects in the space, but indeed the benefits we drive here on earth are far more than we can imagine. Hence, it's very important for us to be looking at the, the benefits and the importance of these um, interactions that we are having in the space 
and how that brings about um, uh, benefits to humankind, such as in terms of medicine, nutrition, and, and material development. Just bringing you back to the Africa Development Bank, in 2013, the board did approve a 10-year strategy um, whose overarching objectives were really looking at achieving inclusive growth and transition to green growth through five operational priorities, which included infrastructure development, regional economic integration, private sector development, governance, accountability, and skills and technology. The bank has invested heavily in infrastructure across Africa, mostly roads, railway, and airports. While the emphasis has been on infrastructure here on earth, we need, as a bank, need to show interest in the space-based infrastructure as the services and application from these are used here on earth. More importantly, uh, transportation, logistics, banking, commerce, to mention a few, are some of the economic activities that rely strongly on this satellite. The bank, as the partner organization of the African Union Commission, is also interested and continues to invest in initiatives that foster regional e economic integration. In the international arena, the space is used also to foster cooperation, diplomacy, and, and, and peace. In the same manner, Africa needs to leverage on space for its regional integration. We look forward as a bank to, to see the operationalization of the Africa Space Agency, which was established by African heads of state and governments in 2018. The bank is also interested in private sector development. According to Space in Africa, a media company that focused on space, the value of Africa's space economy in 2021 was about 14.49 um, billion. This is projected to grow to about 22.46 billion in the next five years. Indeed, there are several companies across Africa that operate in the upstream and down, downstream sectors of the space value chain. The Africa Development Bank is looking forward to exploring these opportunities and support in this emerging new space of uh, industry in Africa. We do recognize that we have a few private sectors that will be speaking today, and we are very excited about that. Because we know that space in Africa, as reported by um, African Space Economy, has a workforce of over 19,000 in core space activities. And 60% of this workforce is employed by the government. In this dispensation, this is not sustainable. The private sector should, and we encourage them to take leadership in employment, as well as in other uh, space uh, uh, opportunities for you know, uh, creating jobs and promoting um, development. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we know that there's no country on the region that can maximize the gains of space without having a critical knowledge base and skills development or programs for education and training. Taking cognizance of this, the Africa Development Bank will continue to support the effort of the Africa Space Leadership Institute by fulfilling its mission. We do acknowledge that the mission is aligned to the Africa uh, Development Bank Action Plan, which is focused on improving employability and productivity in Africa. At this point, we encourage the students and young people that are participating in this event and Africa to really dare to do more and open up these opportunities and ensure that we are able to fill in the gaps both in knowledge and, and skills. The development of capacity of human capital is, crit is critical and cannot be overemphasized. We do understand that the Africa Space Leadership has developed a series of courses and webinars, and so we encourage you to take advantage of these opportunities um, 
in making sure that we get the right skills mix to be able to support the agenda. The bank, like we've said, will continue to work with the African Union and UNESCO in making sure that the dream of the Africa space leadership is fulfilled. Finally, let the message about space not just end as today's launch. Our mass media needs to continue to press on the space for space, the case for space, sorry. Young people also need to be encouraged to take up the careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, as this is the foundation for building Africa's space capabilities. The scientists and practitioners need to demonstrate the practical value of space in our policymakers so that they can understand the importance of investment in space. We also at the bank encourage the organizers to begin in earnest to train African space leaders. You can be assured the cooperation of the Africa Development Bank. Thank you for your attention and we wish you a successful conversation. Thank you.